San Francisco when I was age 10, and my, do my mother was working at San Francisco General Hospital. So what did she do with a small boy to keep him out of mischief? And she got me a job selling newspapers on uh, right near our home. And then uh, on Sunday, she took me to the Protestant church, the uh, uh, West Side Christian Church on Bush and Divisdale Street. And uh, I was a member there until, uh, and its successor, until I came here um, 17 years ago. And uh, while I was there then, I was active in a very wonderful young people's group all about my age, and some of us are still in contact uh, really? 90 years later. But um, I was just uh, a, a sort of a, a leader in the uh, song and, and choir uh, part of the life as I grew older uh, without realizing what I was doing. But for instance, I never had a good singing voice, but I did make sure that everybody had a song book and do the right page and that sort of thing. And so because of that then, we had a very good singing group all the way along. And uh, this did with that. And so uh, then uh, I was uh, sort of chosen to be uh, a leader. I chaired over these years uh, every committee uh, that we had in the church except the Christian Women's Fellowship. They never allowed me to be a member of that. But uh, I that. had all the others and from time to time. Can you talk a little bit about your faith? Faith? Mm -hmm. uh, my faith, I believe, well let's see, let's do it this way. I think it sums it up. Every During the day I say thank you Lord, but every night before I go to bed I say thank you for all of the good things that have happened to me and my family. Thank you very, 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 very much. And then also prepare me to sleep during the night, the challenges of uh, trying to, because I sleep in during a couple of times during the day, to be rest, to not too restless at night, and to do that. And so, please help me through the night to prepare for the next day, and then fi help me find ways that I can help other people around here who need help. So that sums it up, sort of. Mm -hmm. I believe in God. In other words, I believe He's a friend of mine. Mm -hmm. Let's talk a little bit more about that. I mean, at a hundred years old, yes. you have several projects that you do. Certainly the ties are yes. one of the main ones. Yeah, ties and, and just being aware of, of what people... There's that sort of opportunity mm -hmm. around here is to help other people. Well, it sounds... Tell me about the ties, because it's more than just sure. art. There's right. a lot that goes on behind that. What is that? I always had to wear a necktie, mm -hmm. and uh, when I came here, men no longer have, oh, incidentally, this is called a necktie. Remember, you used to have one, mm -hmm. one. and uh, so, <laughs> so that's what I do, though, then, is try to get a tie that blends with the tie, uh, I'm sorry, with the design, with the tie itself, and so that they're all blending together. And so, uh, to me, that was, it's, a, it's an interesting project. It helps me use my computer and my computer skills, and at the same time, then people make comments on it. Uh, it isn't that common at all for some stranger to walk by as I do it and say, "What a nice tie!" And uh, that gives me a, gives me pleasure. Mm -hmm. So uh, well, that's the story of the it, ties. But well, there's it. more to it than that because those yeah. ties, many of those ties, actually are profiles or or tributes to residents here at the Heritage yes, or I other do that things. Also, yes. So there are That's another thing that I do because the object is to try to make them like it, but it, does, it most of the time it works. Mm -hmm. But at least I get a comment out of it, yeah. Mm -hmm. But you also at times, I mean for example with Margaret, you've done two or three ties of Margaret. Yes. And there's some biographical information you often put together with those ties. I try, it? yes. Mm -hmm. What I'm trying to do is give them some memories so that a year later or so, I should, they, say, oh, they say, oh, I'd forgotten about I did, by that I did that. So mm -hmm. yes, uh, it's uh, true. Favorite hobby or any of your hobbies? Church, I think. Church is a hobby. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. It was the only um, activity in which I was active. Hmm. What gives you meaning? 
You've sort of answered that, but meaning. What gives you meaning? What yes. Is, well, it sounds like bragging, but I don't mean it to be. But I think trying a way to help other people, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. I think that's that's where I get my meaning. Mm -hmm. There's so many things that uh, I can do just to people be friendly. Mm -hmm. Today uh, we have one waiter who's uh, who does wonderful uh, watercolors and uh, has them on the walls all over the place. And uh, he specializes in uh, uh, PPIE, the Panama Pacific International Exposition of uh, 1915. Mm -hmm. And so he has those up on the walls. And uh, we were talking about it today. And uh, I was telling him about something that was almost hidden in there. Uh, the Indian uh, on his horse, uh, who's just so worn out, and it's the end of the trail is the name of it. And uh, mm -hmm. he has hidden that in, uh, he has it in one of his other paintings where it would have been on the exhibit, but it isn't too obvious. And as he walked by, he kind of patted my back. So he just, uh, it just gave him pleasure. You mentioned the Twin Towers. Was that uh, oh, yes. traumatic yes. for you as well? Um, Well, it made me realize what can be done uh, by uh, intelligent enemies. Uh, this was so different because these men came here. First off, it takes men dedicated to be willing to give their life for what they believe to be right. That's dedication. Uh, secondly, uh, they had to learn uh, how to do what was necessary to take over these airplanes and then to control them. Uh, to do what they done, knowing that it was going to end up in death. And so, uh, to me, that was... It, it just showed uh, what faith can do. Faith in, and you just hope that it's uh, your, your faith in the right thing and not uh, injuring a lot of people. Mm -hmm. I mean, you are exceptional in the way you find a... Uh, a way to help people and to uh, keep going and other people will simply yeah. say, I, I don't know why I'm here. Uh -huh. And Fanny was one of those. Yes. Uh, Lorraine decided it just was no reason to go on. Right. Um, so I'm, I'm interested in exploring yeah. that element as well. Yeah. But, and of course this is so interesting in that the aging process has been so extended a uh, hundred years is uh, not uh, not uh, not trend. uncommon now no exactly yeah I was I was intrigued for example um, and I preached on this a while ago a long while ago but Eric Erickson the the uh, psychologist okay things and yes. he got up to aging yeah and he wrote this about when he was 50 or 60 I think but he got up to aging and he said the final stage is um, regenerativity or despair. Uh -huh. Which is, you know, how do you reinvent yourself when you're 90? Very good. Or, yeah. But when he got to be 90, he and his wife, yeah. they realized, well, that's not necessarily it. It's uh -huh. not an either or of regenerativity or despair, yeah. but it's how you come to terms with the life you've lived and yeah. you spend time getting comfortable with yeah. what you've done and the mistakes you've made and or the successes you've had yeah and and so there is a process of well, for, to be kind of crass about it an yeah. exit interview that you're going through yeah. and resolving yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah, it does very much, yeah. So, it's all how you deal with it, too. How you deal with it is yeah. exactly it, yeah. yes. I mean, there's still yeah. the element of despair that could be involved. Right. And or yeah. um, the comfort level of saying, okay, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm comfortable with the fact that my life is... Well, a little bit of envy, too. You went into the other room and got these books so easily, yeah. and uh, those days are past for me. Well, let me ask you that, because how is it you deal with that loss of autonomy? I mean, well, at some point you gave up driving. First off, yeah. 
what you well first off if you get off uh, driving uh, then you be you're very happy that you have a daughter that will serve that for you or the van that we have here mm -hmm. uh, so that's a, the uh, in other words you substitute uh, something that uh, accomplishes and then you cut down on the uh, need for those things uh, both two ways you do it and then with me it's the uh, rollator uh, walker uh, which makes it so much easier for mm -hmm. me to balance and not be afraid to fall as I go around the room and then this uh, around the building and then this one also has a seat on it so that I can sit when I need to and rest which is what I do uh, and then also be very thankful that they have chairs at appropriate places get out of the elevator there's a chair mm -hmm. there and I can sit there for several minutes till I feel a little stronger to go on mm -hmm. to the long run to the dining room. Mm -hmm. So in other words, you, you learn to adapt, uh, substitute and adapt, uh, something like that. that. That adaptation process, though, is not as easy for some as for others, would uh -huh. you say? Is that fair? Well... I mean, you, forcibly, you have to make accommodations. Yes. Uh -huh. But for some, it's easy, and some, it's, it's not so easy. Well, I think the thing to do is to try to decide that it is, that, it, that it's necessary. Mm -hmm. Whether it's easy or not, it's necessary. Mm -hmm. And so, you, for instance, instead of walking a long distance, you sit down every once in a while. Mm -hmm. As simple as that. Mm -hmm. Okay. How do you feel about the way Lorraine died, in effect taking your own life. I feel uh, the way that it's similar to the way I feel about abortion. Uh, in other words, it's, a it's, a, it's to me a very practical uh, way to uh, accomplish something. And in Lorraine's it was a very simple way uh, to uh, say uh, this is enough. I'm done. Uh, we are done. Uh, and I'm looking forward to this that I've all my life thought was wonderful, uh, heaven, uh, and uh, now I'm going to find out.